I just like to um, make a really great film about my life story. Um, and we're thinking about that. We have a great script already by Lee Hall, who wrote Billy Elliot. Oh, As I grow older, I'm much more content in my own skin because when I come off stage now, I have a balance in my life. And until I found that in 1990, I didn't. I came off stage and I didn't know what to do with myself. Now I come home and I fly home every night after a show. Um, and I go back in my own bed and I have a wonderful partner. I have wonderful friends. I, I, you know, I'm, I can remember things. <laughs> I don't drink drugs anymore. Um, it, it's a whole new world out there. <laughs> I can remember the words for the songs. <laughs> Eight years ago, I had replacement lens surgery because I was so blind. I don't really need to wear glasses, but I, you know, I'm just being moody. Yeah, in I got a phone call from Tim Rice saying, would I do The Lion King? When at that time, all I was doing was making records, touring, and doing videos. And it gave me the opportunity, with that one phone call, to suddenly write musicals to the stage, film scores, and, and it just opened the doors to so many things. If you'd have said that in 1993 I'd be writing a song about a fucking warthog, I'd just say, you're out of your mind. When Tim Rice gave me the lyrics, he said, well, I was a young warthog, I faxed his story. I was out of my mind. <laughs> This is the joyous thing about being a creative people, a person. Things can come along that completely surprise you that you normally would never thought of doing. 